Not long ago, we showed you an app that you can install on your Android-powered device that puts your frequently used apps, buttons, and information right at your fingertips, or under your thumb in this case. It was a pie-like launcher, and it's showing up more and more in custom ROMs all over the place. Today, showing up in CyanogenMod, we'll go hands-on with it, show you what you need to know if you want to use this feature on your phone. This is CyanogenMod 10.1 Nightly running on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It is rooted, obviously, and it is running a custom ROM. One of the things that I want to show you here is I can drag up to get this Pi-like interface. It's not really a launcher, it's just my buttons, time, and information. The fact that I don't have a cellular SIM in here so I have no service, otherwise that would show my carrier. Today's date, battery remaining, and the Wi-Fi access point that I'm connected to. You can see over here I also have my uh, recently used apps button, my home button, back button, and I've even added in a little search button. So if I want to go home, I can go home. Now, how do we get to all of this? We come in here and launch our settings, coming into settings. The next thing that we need to do is turn it on. To do that, that's under system. We come down here and you'll notice that we now have Pi controls. This is turned off by default. So you've got to come in and turn it on. I went ahead and said I wanted mine to be at the bottom screen border, which means that it is going to override my Google Now, so I can no longer drag up for, for Google Now. If you don't like that, change a different location point. I'll show you a way in just a minute that you can change that and, uh, and move it on the fly so you don't have to come all the way back in here. That's step one. Step two, you also have to have your expanded desktop. So essentially that extends your desktop around on all of the edges. It has to be turned on. You can either do that with the status bar visible or the status bar hidden. It comes by default as disabled. I've chosen status bar visible. And once we've got that done, everything should be good to go. So let's go ahead and go back home. We're going to come off the screen. You'll notice I don't have my soft buttons at the bottom of the screen anymore. I've liberated some of that screen space. And I simply drag up and I can go home. I drag up and sometimes it doesn't work. I drag up. Sometimes it's just kind of finicky and I don't know why. But that's something that I'm not alone at. So I just tried it again and it worked this time. I can go back, I can go to search. If you want to reposition your buttons to another side of the screen, simply invoke the button bar and then you'll see these little hot spots where if you drag up to and lift your finger, it will anchor them. So let's go ahead and do it off of the right side. So now when I come up off the bottom, I don't get anything, but when I come over from the right side, there's my menu. That's Pi Controls for CyanogenMod 10.1 Nightly. As you can tell, it's still a little rough around the edges and doesn't do everything that we want it to. It doesn't even launch apps, but it's not supposed to. It's just supposed to free up those buttons at the bottom of your device, kind of push them off to the side. If you like it, that's great. If you don't, you're with me, that's okay too. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, make sure you tell your friends about it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or any one of your favorite social networking sites. And while you're at it, why not give the video a big thumbs up? For PocketNow, showing off CyanogenMod goodies, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.